Hey guys, Patrick here. So, you guys have been asking quite a bit about the um, drag chain on the N3 V2 in my upgrades video. You can check it out in the top right here if you haven't seen it already. But, uh, yeah, so I just decided to make a quick video dedicated to the drag chain, explaining the files that you need, as well as how to assemble it. So I didn't design uh, any of these parts. I kind of just grabbed different parts from different creators and put it on my uh, V2. And yeah, it works pretty well. And all the files are in the links um, are linked in the description down below. I've tried to put it into one link so that it's easier for everyone to uh, figure out what files you need. There is a choice that you have to make. One is with hardware, and the other one is without. If you're deciding to go without hardware, then I suggest you printing in the material other than PLA because PLA will deform under the stepper motor since the stepper motor gets extremely hot, and PLA is not a very resistant material to um, heat. So if you're planning on printing a PLA, then maybe look into using hardware so that even if it deforms, it'll still stay on the stepper motor pretty well. All right, so why do you want to build a drag chain? Apart from it uh, organizing your cables and making your printer look better, it uh, does serve a purpose and that's through it organizing the cables so that when you're printing, the cables won't um, go somewhere else pretty much. As you can see, some of these photos here, People have actually um, been doing prints and then suddenly the cable gets caught in the print. So uh, that's something that you don't want to have with any of your prints. So having a cable chain does have this benefit of a uh, peace of mind that your cables aren't going to get tangled up in your print somehow. Alright, so let's assemble this uh, cable chain. So there are going to be seven parts in total that you would need. You need 47 cable chains. 47 cable clips. You need the uh, X axis hot end connector, the X axis tray, you need the Z axis stepper connector, the YZ end cap, and the Y axis chain connector. For the Z axis stepper connector, you have to decide between the hardware and non hardware version, and, and you print out everything else. For the X axis, you want to connect the chains up and to the X axis hot end connector, and the X axis tray. Uh, you're going to have to do a little bit of disassembly with the V2. You're going to have to pretty much bring this part up all the way. And then remove four screws on the top here. Once you lift off this whole assembly, you'd have to take off the belt tensioner knob as well as the uh, wheels. Once that's done, you can slide in the tray. And then to reassemble it, you just do the reverse, putting the wheels back on, putting the uh, belt tensioner knob back on, sliding the whole rail back onto the frame, and screwing on the four screws on the top. And then that's pretty much it. That's the hardest part of um, assembly for this chain. And as you can see on the tray, there's also a built-in link that you'd have to mount the uh, chain onto, and then mount it onto the X-axis hot end connector. All right, for the Z-axis, it's also pretty straightforward. You want to connect the chain up, Clip or screw in the Z-axis chain connector, which resides on the Z-axis stepper motor. If you were using the um, hardware version, then you would bolt the four screws onto it, which I actually have here. So this is the part that you'd need if you're planning to use the hardware version. So there are going to be four screws that you're going to have to put in on the bottom of the stepper motor. But in my case, um, I have the clip-on version, so this is not required. And then obviously uh, you put on the YZ end cap by sliding it in. For the Y axis, you connect the chains up again. You're going to have to remove the original plastic part that covers this uh, piece right here. Once you, and you have to cut the zip ties so you can just use the, um, the clippers that came with the Ender 3 to remove that. Connect the chain up and uh, connect it to the YZ end cap as well. Also, here are some of the pictures that I took of the underside of the printer so you get an idea of how the cables are routed to the chain. So that's pretty much it. All the files and everything are in the description down below. If you haven't seen the upgrades video, then check it out in the top right right here. Anyways, I hope you guys find this video useful. If you did find it useful, then like and comment if you have any questions and subscribe for more videos like this. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time on Patrick Sacks.